Hi, my dear children. Good morning, everyone. Yes, so in the previous class, we have discussed your chapter one of geography, that is our environment. And we are done with the chapter, right? So the exercise that is in page number 11, fill in the blanks, match the column, true or false. Page number 12. Question answers in brief and in detail up till your the exercise number E. That will be homework for you. Okay. And yes, post your submission of the assignment. I will share the answers with you so that you can verify the same by your own. Okay. And if any corrections need to be made accordingly, or you know, you can do the needful. All right. Okay, so we are done with one of geography. So today, let us start one from history. What do you say? Right, one from geography, one from history, and then we will go to one from uh, pole science. I mean, which is also called civics. Okay, so let us go to page number one hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah. When, where, and how? When, time, where, place, how? That means the entire, you know, happenings about past history. Very interesting. In fact, my dear children, if you can develop a taste towards history, you will start loving it yes that what do you call this i forgot the moment i said you start loving it there is one uh, fast fast food something what mcdonald's something i'm loving it or something like that same will go with history it is so interesting you know you just you must just you just have to build up that uh, curiosity that's all that's enough for you that you know for example mm, like yeah the best example instead of going somewhere far today say what do you call you are in this school okay so ask to yourself why are you in this school the first question you will see you'll get an answer maybe this is your native or maybe because of your parents a relocation of job or various reason so ultimately you get an answer to the question why now again if you question that particular answer that why it is like that you'll get another answer so it's basically what happens like you know it's a kind of a curiosity you must have that urge to know you know that uh, what you call desire to know more and more and this is history that's all simple as that history is very interesting if you can understand it gives you a very good taste about the past and which helps you to understand the present what is this chapter all about just let us have a glimpse all right it seems like it will be very it's very much interesting yes it is indeed so let us start uh, before we straight away go to the text there is something a kind of a preface you know overview of the chapter or you can say an introduction portion let us go through that which is in a, a kind of an orange box right above the text let's get started it's titled as that so starting from infancy every individual i hope you know infant small you know the beginning infant babies we see in infant so starting from infancy every individual crosses many milestones like crawling on all fours standing with support standing without support staggered walk first what is that gibberish done broken speech to a to coherent speech in adults too there are many milestones like writing a long essay without parental help speaking in front of the whole class or school in assembly for the first time with without preparation participating in debates and extempo painting and so on these milestones are a part of our growth and an example of for others to follow think of the milestones you would like to cover in the coming years share at least two such milestones with the class nice interesting thing in simple term what do you want to achieve what's your goal milestone something big right 
something which until now you haven't got the taste about it or you haven't come across a fit but you will be in the, in the near future okay so that is what is called milestone something big think about it two such milestones you now since because of this uh, pandemic online classes physically you cannot be with your classmates you cannot be with your friends but however you can note down you know so that when everything is back to normalcy we can discuss the same in the class now let us see what the book has to tell us indian history is generally divided into ancient medieval and modern periods on the basis of changes in social political and economic organization and in the ideas and belief underlying we know that indian history has got three basic parts that is ancient medieval and modern but on what basis why why the gain we had to divide from ancient to medieval medieval why do why we couldn't continue ancient why couldn't we wouldn't say that till date we have just studied ancient history from where this medieval and this uh, modern come for what reason why question another question right answer because what because of the changes which took place in social social society okay which took place social means society remember the social science social study society science related to society you are social study you are studying about the society so changes which took place in social political and economic organization and also in ideas and beliefs because of this changes whenever changes took place in terms of this context the history also got divided you know people with the similar mindset with a similar thought with a similar belief when it continued for a longer time ancient again there was a break something changed medieval came again from medieval a new change came modern each of these periods has certain distinctive features determined by the various development recorded in different wa- walks of life during that period the actual duration of the period which is historically regarded as medieval is not the same everywhere underline that the actual duration of the period which is historically recorded okay so i uh, historically recorded let me tell you first of all what do you mean by historically recorded i think you have studied in your earlier classes see history is basically you know there are also different categories of history history has got three parts that is ancient medieval and modern but again history has got different types of history like there is something called a prehistory before the period of history and there is something called in between history next comes proto history okay now this what do you call prehistory means where there was no uh, proper record of the past even history where the actual records of the past even in sequence in systematic manner all started that's called history proto history the period between prehistory and history proto history all right simple as that so here the actual duration of the period which is historically recorded that is termed as medieval and this medieval period it is not same everywhere why because the record which is being kept that's not same everywhere let's see the medieval period in europe if you talk about the medieval period in europe it says that between somewhere 600 to 1400 bc uh, not bc sorry it's called uh, what do you call the ce okay which you also means ad whereas if you talk about the indian medieval period then that starts from 700 to 1700 ce okay which is exactly somewhere around uh, 1000 years 700 to 1700 yeah 1000 years again this is again further subdivided into early medieval late medieval are you getting it first of all don't get confused history there are, it has got what do you call uh, three categories ancient medieval and next comes modern now under the under medieval there are again two okay two branches one is called this what you call early medieval and the other one is called late medieval and when this medieval period started in india and europe it's being marked out there it's mentioned in your text please underline in europe 600 to 1400 ce india 700 to 1700 here we will talk mainly about uh, india yes that's what we will talk basically about india indian medieval period and all all right so let us see this uh, what do you call the first topic <laughs> it's a little lengthy mm. i'm just 
thinking about it shall i start because if i start even the first paragraph you see in your page 129 the paragraph on the left hand side which starts under the topic the medieval period major historical trend it ends up on the right hand side somewhere in the middle of the text okay and if i leave some in between you would lose the interest because if i finish up one paragraph at a time that you know that can connect you give you some source of understanding or linkage connection okay i'll just end up with the introduction today all right so that you basically have an idea see before you study i always say this to all my students no matter whichever subject i teach whatever i teach whichever class whenever you study a chapter or you are about to start first we must understand why am i going to study this chapter what will i get by knowing about this chapter you without understanding you know what is there in the chapter that's a different thing what the chapter has to teach us that is something secondary primary why why am i studying this chapter what is the main purpose or in one line if i want to define this chapter that what did i learn from this chapter that's the first of all when you come to know that what what are you going to learn in this chapter then you get the interest until unless you know what is this chapter all about now for example when you come out from your home and if you had towards your school you have a basic plan where am i going i'm going to the school all right otherwise you just came out from your house where am i going i'm going somewhere wherever the road takes me let's see be it my friends place be it in the classroom i don't know be it a visit sir's house right so and that moment what will happen if you get a friend in somewhere in between in the road hey guys come let us just you know go for this uh, chocolate let us go for this ice cream you say yeah you'll go along with that again you'll get another friend yeah let us go for a bicycle ride you'll go with it so first of all no where am i going where I, where will i have to reach no matter in between who whichever friend comes with an ice cream or chocolate no i have to reach there because you know where you have to go same thing why am i studying this chapter what are we going to learn know about this chapter next what is there in the chapter that's the different thing we'll start the chapter we'll gradually come to know all right so just go through this much the introduction what i told you that's enough for you all right no need to rush understand hmm? clear your concept understand that's very important all right children see you in the next class stay at home don't loiter around okay study well take care of your health hmm? god bless you all